Yo, yo, gamers, what is good? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're staying safe at home. Squirrely here. Thank you so much for joining me as always. Today's video, we're going to be talking about something crazy, something insane. <laughs> Any of you who have watched my videos know my background. Maybe, maybe at my peak, I had $35,000 to $40,000 in my backpack at one time. Now, I mentioned this not to brag, but just to put things on a whole different level, because today we're talking about a backpack, the number one TF2 backpack, which puts my backpack to shame, completely to shame. I mean, not just mine, it puts even the number two, three, four, five top backpacks, puts them all to shame. It's on a whole nother level. And I think it's really fun to always look at the extremes. You get kind of caught up in the day-to-day -day stuff, but you forget out there just crazy, crazy things. Like, how big is the sun? How far away is the next galaxy or the next universe? And it's like, it's mind-boggling, but it's that's real. It's out there. So in this video, I'm talking about the number one backpack, which is like a whole other universe away. It is so far away from anyone else. It is so much bigger. It's like mind-boggling. So we're going to look at that today and give you guys some examples. As always, I'm going to have some morals to the story, some things for you to think about, because this is something special that I've been wanting to do for a while. So we're finally going to talk about the number one TF2 backpack, the granddaddy of them all. So if you guys have never looked before, all you have to do is go to backpack.tf, look at the top inventories, and just to give you an example of how much money you need in a backpack to actually make it on here, to make the top 100, you need close to eighteen, nineteen thousand dollars $19,000. You can see down here, $19,000 uh, would put you in the top 100 for sure. If I scroll up a little bit, you can see the numbers start to jump pretty quickly. So if you wanted to be top 50, you need well over twenty-six, twenty-seven thousand dollars $27,000 to be in the top 50 backpacks. Uh, scroll up a little bit more here. Top 30, you need well over $40,000 to be in the top 25, 30 backpacks. Scroll up a little bit more on here. I think this is where I could have been at my peak if I would count counted everything. So top 20, top 15 maybe. So you need well over 50, 55. So now you're seeing $60,000. And if we scroll up a little bit more, I'm going to stop right here at number two. You can see to get up here, you need a lot. And it starts to get bigger very quickly. So you can see top five. $80,000, $88,000, $91,000, and then number two, $135,000 basically, $135,000. A very big jump from number two to number three. But number one is on a whole nother level, like I said. You can see right here, Darth Chicken Gaming, I'm pretty sure is friends with the number one backpack. So I'm not sure if they exchange items or whatever. I'm pretty sure uh, they like to buy a lot of things straight up with cash, which is cool because it saves you so much time of trading up and kind of grinding through that. But the number one backpack is... $236,000. And actually, it's worth a lot more than that because this person's backpack, uh, I believe his name is Fat Stormtrooper. If we look at his backpack, he has a ton of items that are either super outdated, they're old, they have old prices, so they're a lot lower, or they have no price at all. So like a lot of unusual weapons and newer uh, newer hats and unusuals just have no price at all. So I could say his backpack is easily worth $250,000 for sure. I can say that pretty easily. Something else that I actually really liked about the number one backpack is that this user is a collector. So they're not like most other backpacks, and I can respect this as myself being a you know exquisite rack, unusual collector, because it takes a lot of work and it takes energy to find hats you want, find items you want, save up for them, buy them, you know, negotiate with people. Aside from a lot of the other really expensive high-tier backpacks, you know, your top 50, top 20 backpacks. Their backpacks are just full of garbage. Like, I mean, I hate to say it, but it's full of really, really low tier, ugly, you know, taunts and unusual hats because what they do is they buy these hats way underpriced, like 60, 70% off quick sales basically because the other people can't sell them and they just relist them all for a little bit of profit. So they're selling like 600 hats or whatever and they're all bad. You're like, ugh. So the backpacks, although they are worth a lot sometimes, what they're actually selling is not very nice. So I don't know. To me, I kind of like that. The number one backpack went to someone who's also a collector. They have good taste, they know what they want, they know what they like, and they don't just have a big backpack because they bought a bunch of garbage hats at quick sale price. But anyways, so let's take a look inside this number one backpack. I always think it's interesting to look at the history and the value of backpacks and kind of just how they grew over time because it does tell a story. So you can see down here, this person started around 2016 and they had $1,000, 2000 and it kind of bounced around. I think at its lowest point, uh, it was around just under 200 something dollars. But then in 2017 and on, it slowly built up over time. I mean, it's going up very quickly, but it is still kind of gradual. And then in 2018, they had pretty much, I believe, the number one or two backpack for a while. Then their backpack went private for a very long time, and it's been flat. But if we jump to today, you can see well over $230,000, which is just insane. Now we're going to actually look through the individual items in their backpack. So we're going to sort this thing by value and you're going to see some very, very nice items. So like I said, this person doesn't have a lot of items compared to other high tier backpacks. They don't have like 900 unusuals, but the ones they have are very, very expensive. Not to mention a lot of these items when they bought them, I believe was purchased years ago, you know, two, three years ago. So 
these have gone up in value too. So this backpack could be well over $250,000. But starting over at number one, you can see some very, very nice viewfinders. You're going to see a trend here. A lot of mix, uh, miscellaneous hats, a lot of Halloween items, a lot of Halloween unusuals, a lot of retired items, uh, a lot of glitched items. Just anything that's expensive and really nice, this person's probably going to have them. So you can see on here too, the coffin kits, a very nice collection of coffin kits. I think they have like six or seven of them. Some golden pans, which is funny, the golden pans doesn't even make the top row. It's on the bottom row in their backpack. More glitched items, you know, no mercies, all class miscellaneous hats. Just so many, so many nice things. I'm going to scroll down here. Some really nice racks as well, which is nice to me. Um, some more miscellaneous hats, some glitched items, professional kits, universal kits. And down the list, um, so like I said, they don't have a ton of items. Some Australians, they do have some lower tier hats probably that they unboxed or traded for earlier on. And then a bunch of really nice unpriced hats. So if you sort the backpack instead of by value, you just sort it by quality. It'll just organize them into the different chunks. So you can see up here, it already has some really nice vintage items, some genuine items. Uh, very, very expensive ones. The unusuals, these ones mostly are priced, but if you keep going down to the bottom, it'll show you the ones that are unpriced. So a bunch of unpriced unusuals. I think too, he has a bunch of un unpriced unusual weapons, factory new. Uh, some of them might even be strange. Where are they? These are the strangers. Keep going. Some Halloween stuff, kind of nice. Collector's items, very expensive. Some very nice collector's items. Uh, down here, right? So these are unusuals. Unfortunately, backpack.tf doesn't do a great job of listing and uh, labeling unusuals. It's hard to see unusual weapons on classifieds, and a lot of them just aren't priced because there's so many different versions of them and kill streak and on kill streak and field tested, factory new. But, anyways, you can see on here uh, a bunch of nice unusual weapons that aren't even priced down here. None of these guys are priced. These are some very nice weapons as well. So, this backpack, well over $250,000 probably. Now that we know the number one backpack in TF2 is around $250,000, maybe more. So, for example, if this person liked to unbox, they can unbox around 143,000 crates. That's a lot of unboxing. Definitely would not get your money back, even if you unboxed like multiple Burning Team Captains. You could also play MVM. MVM ticket costs a dollar. It's 99 cents. So, with 250 k 250,000 MVM tickets, and if you want to get the biggest bane for your buck, you could play MVM for three maps to finish a tour. So that means you could play 83,333 tours of MVM if you do the three maps for each. Now let's assume it takes you about an hour to finish each map, so it's three hours to finish one tour. That means you would take you 27,777 hours, which is about 3,000. 472 days, which means if you played nonstop MVM for every second of every hour of every day with this much money, it would take you 9.5 years to get through all your tickets. So how many golden pans would you need to get your money back? A lot. I don't know. With 250k, you could also pretty much buy any car you want or a bunch of cars. You could buy like 300 really, really cheap cars, or you could buy some really, really nice high-end cars like a Lamborghini, a Ferrari, um, a Porsche, a Bentley, a really high-end Audi, like pretty much anything you can think of. They probably have a car that you like under $250,000. Now, you could also just buy a home straight up. In most countries, 250 k is more than enough money to buy a home. Even in the United States and certain parts, you can definitely get a pretty nice house for 250 k cashed, which is ridiculous. Now, what would I do with $250,000 cash? Just boom, in my backpack, or if it was right in front of me in solid cash. You probably know if you watch my past videos because you know I've been talking more about the stock market, investing, uh, you know, building your wealth over time and kind of stacking the pyramid, building that base. And then over time, especially if you're younger, time is on your side. It's just going to grow with interest compounding over time and it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So if you're already starting off with a big base of money, 200K, 250K, when it starts to compound and grow, you're easily getting over a million dollars. For example, if you put in around $250,000 in the stock market and just let it sit there, 8 to 10% return rate is pretty average right now. It's a little bit lower, but it's actually a better time to get in because a lot of companies are 30, 40, 50 plus percent off, discounted. So when things do finally bounce back, whenever it is, a year, a couple years, you're going to get your money back a lot faster. So on average, the U.S. stock market goes up anywhere from like 6 to 10%. Let's just take 8 to 10. That's a pretty common one. So at 8 to 10% return rate, if you put in this money, just let it sit there, you'd have about $1.2 million in about 20 years. That's at 8%. But at 10%, now we're talking bigger money, you're getting close to $2 million at 10%. Now, like I said before, things are really cheap right now in the U.S. stock market. We have had a pretty good balance, but I, a lot of people think that now with the new oil crisis, things are going to start dropping again, and the stimulus money is kind of slow for some people, and just there's so much uncertainty. The stock market hates it, so we could very well see another drop, and things are so cheap that that $1 million, instead of waiting 20 years, it could come literally in five years, six years, maybe 10 years, because if you get in when times are really, really low, you're going to just going to grow so much faster when things start to bounce back.
Something else I thought of while I was recording this video is that TF2 and trading online, of course, you always have to be safe. You know, don't get scammed. Don't have your backpack, you know, get hijacked or lose your account. But most people, they're afraid of losing like an unusual or a couple hundred dollars in trading that they've invested. But imagine losing this, losing a quarter of a million dollars, basically losing a house or losing a Lamborghini in your Steam account from TF2. That is ridiculous. Now, maybe you have no intention of growing your TF2 backpack as far as value and items. You have your items that you enjoy and you like. That's totally cool. This video is not about chasing the dream of becoming number one and putting all your time and energy because it is hard to compete with certain people. This, these top backpacks, especially the number one backpack, they're spending real money. They're buying cash. They're buying keys to buy unusuals. They're just collecting things. They're not much of a trader. They're more of a collector. They have the money. They know what they want. Boom, they just buy it. So... It's, you can't really compete if you're starting at the bottom and kind of grinding your way up. So don't feel bad about it. But like I said, it's more about a goal, looking at the next level, seeing things as stepping stones versus like that's a fantasy I could never get there because eventually in your life, you're going to earn over $250,000 and it's good to know what you're going to do with it. All right, gamers. Well, that's finally going to wrap it up. Thank you so much for joining me as always on this special video. You know what I would do with a quarter million dollars. So now I want to hear from you guys. What would you do with $250,000 in cash? Uh, definitely a lot of things you could do, like I said, but I'm curious to know what your plan is and how you would spend your money because there's a smart way to do it and a not so smart way to do it, but you can definitely have some fun with it as well. So have a great one. Don't forget down below. I will link you guys to my Steam group so you never miss another video. And we are climbing that subscriber mark. Thank you guys so much for the support. I want to do a nice little giveaway, maybe a q and I don't know. I'll figure it out. But stay tuned till the next video. Have a great one. Peace. Demo above. Sniper above. They're above. love. They're sniper. Still love, still love. Nice. Oh my god, that was fat.